Howdy. In this video, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about U sub. Okay. The way that I like to think about U sub, U sub is kind of like the uh, the chain rule per se of uh, antiderivatives. Okay. Now, let's talk about how to find U. What we're going to have, we're going to do four examples, and I'm going to run through each example. But before we run through each example, we need to understand what to set u equal to. Okay, it's always going to be our first step. Okay, and for my general rule of thumb, u is always going to be your quote unquote inside function. Okay, so it's a function that is inside of something else. And if you don't have a function inside of something else, then look for the quote unquote bigger one. Those aren't actual definite rules, but that's your general rule of thumb, and that will work for 99.9% .9 of U subs. The only ones that don't are kind of insane ones, which we've got practice problems for those, so check those out. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to break this down into a four step process, because there's going to be a lot of writing that's going on, okay? Um, you're going to get your U substitution, solve for dx, substitute, integrate, and sub dx is back in, and we'll run through each one. Before I run through each one, though, let's make sure that we're perfect at finding u. Take a look at this first integral. This first integral, I have the integral of x squared, e to the 2x cubed minus 5. Notice how this 2x cubed minus 5 is inside of that e, so I'm going to set u equal to 2x cubed minus 5. Okay? Let's do a couple more just to make sure we have u, then we'll do the full problem. Okay? Say a look at this one, number two. Number two, I'm going to do the integral of cosine divided by sine cubed. As an algebraic note, heads up, sine cubed x is equivalent to sine x, the whole thing, cubed. Okay? And so in this case, sine is actually my inside function. Sine is inside of something else. So I'm going to say u equal to sine x. Okay? Uh, let's take a look at this one, number three. For number three, I have the integral of x square root of x plus one. Notice how this x plus one is inside of a square root. So I'm going to set u equal to x plus one. And finally, last one that we'll be doing is um, number four here. And what I have is 2x over x squared plus one. Well, notice how x squared plus one in, is a little bit bigger than 2x. It's got a higher power, okay? Uh, you don't really have a function inside of anything else, so I'm just going to go with a bigger one. And so u in this case will be x squared plus 1. Like I said, your first instinct needs to be what's inside of something. Then, if you don't have anything inside of anything, then just pick the bigger one. Okay? So let's actually run through u sub. And we're going to do all four of these examples. And we're, I'm going to show you how to run through each one using these same four steps every single time. And so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find my u. u in this case for number 1 is 2x cubed minus 5. From there, we're going to take the derivative du. du is equal to 6x squared times dx. What du is, this is the derivative of u. So I take the derivative, which is 6x squared, and you multiply by that dx, and that dx is vital, because that dx you need to solve for. And so du divided by 6x squared is equal to dx. And this is always Step one. Step one, you are always going to do that first. Find your u, take the derivative, solve for dx. Step two, you're going to substitute. And so in step two, we're going to substitute. So let's take a look at our original integral. This x squared on the outside, I did nothing to leave it alone. That's an x squared. e to the, well, this 2x cubed minus 5. That's now my u. And then my dx, man, that dx didn't disappear. That dx you solve for. dx is du divided by 6x squared. And if you did things correctly, your x's should cancel. And notice that they do. At this point, what I like to do, I like to uh, factor out all uh, constants. Pull my constants to the outside. So let's take a look at this. Let's pull that 6 out there. Integral of e to the u du. Okay. After we've substituted, the next thing that I want to do is integrate. Okay, so step three. Step three, we're actually going to integrate. We're going to take the antiderivative. So many students, at this point, plug their x's back in. Not yet, almost. Now, in this case, you'd have gotten lucky, because the integral of e to the u is, well, just e to the u. So this will be 1 6th 
e to the u plus c. And my indication to plug your x's back in, because uh, that's going to be step four. Step four is plug your x's back in. Is after you write plus c, after you've integrated, that's my indication to plug my x's back in. And notice how I have 1 6 e to the u, and u is 2x cubed minus 5. So this will be 1 6 e to the 2x cubed minus 5 plus c. Okay? This is a relatively easy one to start off with. I'm aware of that. But I wanted to show you how these four steps work because it's going to go for all problems. Okay, You're going to find your u, take the derivative, solve for dx. Then you're going to substitute everything into your integral. Then you're going to actually integrate that integral and then finally plug the x's back in. And you plug the x's back in after you've written plus c after you've integrated. Okay. What I want to do so that video doesn't run too, too long is go ahead, join me in the next video. In the next video, we'll do those three examples. Okay. We'll do number two, number three, and number four in the next video.